Well, there have been a couple. One technically isn't really a hunt that I had to go on because I'm the one who caused it. I'll make a video about that later. But the one that um, I'm thinking of right now is... Well, Sam and Dean and I had gone on a case. It was like a couple of years ago when I first met them. And we were... It's kind of like in the middle of a case where like we were figuring things out, but Sam and Dean were getting really stressed, so I said, well, let's go on one of those, you know, historic, you know, trip things, and one of them had to be on a boat. Well, we all know that hunters can't really relax, because something had to go wrong. And with that one, I actually had to do with they were actually ghosts on the ship, and they were just normal ghosts. They were pirate ghosts. So I had to think <laughs> of what I could do to get kind of like control of these ghosts, and for some reason, I thought it would be a good idea, excuse me, to dress like a pirate, specifically a captain, and somehow that worked. So then when we found um, a way to salt and burn the bones and destroy the ghosts, and everyone left happy ever after the end, yay. Uh, <laughs> the main thing is, if it seems like something, it probably is that. Like, if it seems like it could be a vampire, it's probably a vamp. If it seems like a wendigo, it's probably a wendigo. So on and so forth. If it seems like it, it probably is. Now, with the case with the Jefferson Starships, which I still think is the stupid name, stupidest name ever, um, uh, but that's just me, um, you definitely have to go into more research. Not only to know what it is, but also how to kill it. Because you can't just leave that ish alone. So, and that's another main thing about being a hunter is research. All the time. Just because you think you know about something doesn't mean you will. Because you might forget a little bit of a detail, and that little bit of a detail could save your butt. So research, research, research. And with that, if I ever go into it more later on, at some later date, I have a journal. It's just a plain black leather journal that I actually got somewhere at for sale. And as you can already tell, I'm already starting to put... That's Uncle Bobby's journal on the side. But i um, already starting to put in information. Such as, like, do not forget, which is, like, dead man's blood, holy water, silver bullets, matches, salt, a flashlight, and a fake ID. Heaven forbid you forget your fake ID, but if you're going to work as a hunter, you need your fake ID, or you're doomed. Also, your exorcism, you have to have that memorized. I have information on here about ghosts and spirits, angels, and demons, and I just dropped Uncle Bobby's journal. Whoops. Sorry, Uncle Bobby. Well, if you can't, then don't. Don't become one. This isn't a, oh, I'm going to do it as a side thing of my life and, you know, live the rest of my life normal. That ain't going to happen. This isn't a side thing. Once you become a hunter, that's your whole life. You can't go back. You can never go back. And I wish I could have... I may see if I can edit this into it later, but I did try to film a little bit of um, some things that I keep around in my car. I have holy water... Rock salt. And then little con like little containers, like about like that big. Of rock salt, holy water, goo for dust, and dead man's blood. One of the questions was and I will preface it by saying I'm not the smartest thing out there, even though I'm an angel and a trickster. Um someone had asked a question, which is one of my good friends, um, has been helping me out with a lot of these questions. She asked, what was the most <laughs> jarring thing about the first time you met the Winchesters? <laughs> I had a look up the word jarring. I'm an idiot. <laughs> but from what I looked up, my answer to that would be that Sam and Dean have a tendency to want to work on their own. Which, as a hunter, I kind of see a lot, but... With me, before I had met them, I used to do all the cases with Gabriel. 
and if it wasn't Gabriel, it was like some other angels I'm not used to working with humans. So, with them having the mentality of, oh, we could do it, we don't need you, and here I am being a power and a trickster, help me help you. <laughs> but we've gotten better now, even though Sam and Dean are currently mad at me for something that I did, but I'm a trickster, whoops. <laughs> and I'll get more into that in another video. A song lyric that you can describe the people close to you. I couldn't find a specific, like, little, like, lyric, but a whole song would be Those Nights by Skillet. Kind of one of those common questions that I always get because I am an angel in human flesh, or as I used to call myself, a Nephilim, but I can't use that word anymore because there's a lot of um, people that know the true meaning of the word Nephilim, not the mean Nephilim, but fallen angel gets with human and has baby and human mother dies and fallen angel father doesn't want anything to do with the baby. Orphan baby, but now is half angel, half human. That's not me, but that was the closest term that I could think of at the time. I guess another term that I had heard was dyad, and I had learned that from one of my fallen brothers, who I don't like. Not Lucifer, not Lucifer, another one. That one also scares me. <laughs> if I can remember his name, I'll type it like here. Um, but I don't even like using the word dyad. Nephilim for me is just easier. But anyway, so people always ask, you know, what's heaven like or what is there to do in heaven? Well, I can tell you from my experience what my favorite things to do in heaven was to well, spend a lot of time with Michael and Gabriel Excuse me. Um, I used to spend a lot of the time in their... Kind of, it's kind of like a palace that they have. It's not really a palace. It's kind of like a palace. But we have Lucifer's part of that closed after he fell. And there's also a garden that Gabriel and I would walk around in. I'd also spend time with God in the garden. And then um, we'd walk around along the shore... And we'd also ride our horses along the shore. Heaven's a very relaxing place. People... <laughs> I'm homesick. I'll admit it. I'm homesick. I miss being home. I miss being up there with my siblings and my father. And everything was relaxing up there. The only hurt that I really felt up there was after Lucifer left. That was because Lucifer and I were close before he decided to rebel. And he got what he deserved. So. I'll try to go more into detail if people want to know more about having and my adventures there, so leave a comment if you'd want to hear more about that. I'm also planning on getting more into detail with um, the problem that I caused with Sam and Dean in another video, hopefully before Halloween. Maybe I'll talk about it. On, I'll talk about that on Halloween. The problem I kind of caused with Sam and Dean, and I'll also go a little bit more into um, being a hunter and during Halloween or any time of the year. Don't mess with spirits. I'm gonna kind of go into that more on Halloween. So, but leave a comment if you want me to answer anything else that I haven't mentioned here. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.